Hey guys, what's up? I decided that I would share with you my method on how to safely change your LiPo battery connectors into a different kind of connector. Now for me, I prefer using XT60 connectors and it's just a personal preference. I don't really have any particular reason why I'm using XT60 connectors. The main reason is because the first time I bought a LiPo based blaster, which is a rapid pistol, oh, I should say I bought a rapid pistol loom kit from blaster tech and it was hooked up uh, you know with a male xc60 connector so then dean from blaster tech actually told me to purchase lipo batteries that have female xc60 connectors instead but unfortunately whenever i bought new lipos and i couldn't get them off hobby king i would get them off jet hobby and jet hobby actually comes with these jst plugs and uh, you know since all my blasters are now currently running male xc60 connectors i decided that i wanted to change everything to female xc60 connectors so it's really just a personal preference you know uh, i'm just going with xc60 connectors so my batteries actually look like this right now and i understand that a lot of you don't actually have access to a lot of like different kind of tools for you to get your soldering done like the crocodile clips and stuff so i have decided that i will show you guys how i do it a very safe method using almost everyday items okay so first of all we need some masking tape of course you need your xt60 connectors of choice or i should say connectors of choice it doesn't have to be only xt60 connectors just use this method to safely change the connectors of your light poles of course you have your light poles as well a wire cutter tool pair of scissors if you need of course you need solder then you're gonna get a bunch of shrink wrap actually i have a whole bunch here e-tape a soldering iron of course and i have a wire stripper tool of course, if you don't have access to a wire stripper tool, you can use a wire cutter or a pair of scissors to get the job done when you want to strip the wires. Always remember, safety gear, safety goggles is the most important. I'm going to put it on right now. And then you want to get two random heavy objects. It could be anything like a phone book or something. I'm using this with this uh, a box or a, a container that holds a whole bunch of screws and the toolbox that i use so these are the two heavy items that i'm going to be using for this these are actually to help you stabilize and you know hold things together so this is how i go ahead and i do this all right now i understand a lot of you don't have a soldering station and that's fine what you can do is just use this which is your masking tape put it down or a cup or something and then you can actually just have it there like that so that should serve its purpose now first thing first we're going to find a way to actually hold up these things so that we can put some flux on them and how i do that is very simple i just grab my toolbox then get some of the masking tape and simply tape it down to the toolbox like so now since i have a total of five lipo batteries that i want to change the leads to i'm just going to go ahead and do five of these at the same time all right, there we go. Now, please understand that I'm left-handed. That's why all the leads are facing the left because I hold the soldering iron with my left hand and add the flux with my right. So let's start adding flux to these. Once you're done adding flux to one side, all you have to do is just flip it over and then add flux to the other side. It's that simple. When you're done, you're going to just put this aside and let it cool down because the XC60 connectors actually heat up quite fast and they stay hot quite long all right so the next step is the simplest yet the most important step and that is to begin cutting the wire off now what you want to do is always cut one at a time remember that cut one at a time because if you use a pair of scissors and you cut it across directly there's a chance that you might accidentally short the whole thing and it might cause this to blow up now it happened to me before because i wasn't paying attention and i actually cut both at the same time with a pair of wire cutters and it actually touched the, the leads actually just lightly touched and it caused a big blue spark it was very scary because i heard a loud pop and you risk damaging the battery or if not even worse starting a fire which is a lot more dangerous and you don't want to get hurt so make sure just make sure you cut it one at a time so what you do is grab a pair of scissors or your wire cutter and what you want to do is just cut one end take a look carefully you just want to cut one side off and when you're done what you want to do is you want to wrap that end with e-tape so grab your e-tape and just wrap it around so that you make sure that this is protected if not you might actually touch the positive lead and short the whole battery now it's okay for you to go ahead and cut the other end So this is your GST connector, throw it away. You see how it was sitting like this? 
So that's the reason why it's shorted. You guys got to be careful, okay? So now I'm going to leave the positive end like that and the negative end covered. We're going to strip this part. Now I'm going to just focus on this battery, then move on to the rest when I'm done teaching you guys what's going on. Now grab your wire stripper. If not, then use your wire cutters or a pair of scissors and you want to just lightly cut away the insulating layer. I got it set for about a quarter inch in and we're just going to strip the wire to be just like that. Now a personal habit of mine is to just twist up the wires like that so it's just that little bit easier to handle. Then go ahead and grab your next heavy object and what you want to do is you want to basically tape the naked end down somewhere and if you find it troublesome you can also tape down the battery itself kind of like this just tape the battery down so the battery won't move around then you want to tape the positive end to the edge so now that it's like that it's a lot easier to add some flux to it now we've got some flux on that so bring your original box over and you want to line it up till you get the lead sitting in the positive end of one of the XC60 connectors. I'm just going to bring this to the camera to show you guys. On the XC60 connectors, you actually see positive and negative markings. So if you look at the curved side or the angular side, this is the negative side. And the flat side is the positive, so you want it to be sitting like this, okay? Then you can just go ahead and melt it down. Make sure that it lines up like that. And then before we go ahead and just fuse the two together, grab your shrink wrap sleeve it through and now all we have to do is just fuse the two together now go ahead and feel free if you want to add more flux to it once you're done with that just let it cool off for a moment move away your first box then grab your shrink wrap wrap it around and here's a cool thing if you guys don't have access to a heat gun or you're not skilled with handling fire what you can do or how i do it is i use this part of the soldering iron and i just move close to the shrink wrap and let that heat dissipate throughout and shrink the shrink wrap. Now that we're done with the positive lead, only after you've used the shrink wrap, then you're going to work on the negative lead. So then we're going to take this out because that means that it's more safe and it runs a lot less risk of you actually shorting the whole thing together. So now we're going to repeat the whole process of stripping the wires, coiling it, adding flux, and then fusing these two together. So strip the wire, grab some shrink wrap, sleeve it in, tape it down, add some flux. And now because the XT60 connector is already connected to the battery like this, what you want to do is you want to change the orientation of everything. Flip the battery upside down so that now this is on the bottom. Make sure your shrink wrap is there. Grab your first box, line everything up, then fuse it. Same thing as before, let it cool off. Remove all your master tape. Remove the battery. Take out the XC60 connector. Then go to work on shrinking the shrink wrap. And then we are done. We have successfully changed the leads on our LiPo batteries. Absolutely safe, no problems whatsoever, and not limited to only XC60 connectors. Go ahead guys and pick a connection type that is suitable or comfortable for you, any type of your preference. And now you have an easy, simple, and safe way to change your LiPo battery leads. Of course, things that go without saying is safety is the most important thing. Make sure that you have your safety goggles and do your soldering in a well-ventilated area. I'm actually not locked up in my room. I'm in the living room, the dining area with a fan right next to me. Windows are open. All right, so happy swapping, guys. Peace.